So number seven, write the equation of the line through three comma two, and I know it's a little hard to see there because the uh, the point is split up on two lines, but through three comma two with a slope of negative three over seven. So our point is three two, and our slope is negative three over seven. And this question is similar to number six. Except now we have been given a point that is not a y-intercept and a slope. So we are not going to use the slope-intercept form. We're going to use an alternate uh, form for a line. And you may recall that we have a line called the, or a formula rather, called the point-slope form. And that is y minus y1 equals m times quantity x minus x1. And so here our point, let's go ahead and label x1, y1. We have our m and they want us now to take that information, the given information, plug it into the point slope form and put our equation in this case standard form. All right, so let's go ahead and see what happens here. So y minus y1 equals m, well what's our m? Negative 3 over 7 times quantity x minus, well what's x1? 3. Here we can distribute that negative through, so we just get y minus 2 equals negative 3 over 7 and then x minus 3. All right, let's go ahead and clear the fraction here. We could, if we wanted to, we could go ahead and distribute this negative three over seven through the set of parentheses, but I don't like working with fractions. So let's go ahead and get rid of them. And the way that we are going to get rid of our fraction here is multiply the entire equation by the common denominator. And in this case, the common denominator is seven. So you're gonna multiply the whole equation by seven, which is saying the same thing as multiplying this side of the equation by seven and then each of the two terms here on the left by seven. So when we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and move this up here. What we end up with now is seven times y. Well, that gives us seven y. And now we're going to have seven times negative two, which is gonna be minus 14 equals this seven cancels with this seven. So we're left with just negative three and then times the quantity x minus three. And now we have an equation without any fractions, much nicer to work with. So let's go ahead now and distribute this negative three through. So we end up with seven y minus 14 equals negative three x plus nine. And once you distribute your slope through your set of parentheses, you can go to either y equals mx plus b, which is slope-intercept form, or you can go to standard form, which is what we're going to do, which is ax plus by equals c, as long as a cannot be uh, negative and it cannot be a fraction. So just keep that in mind. If you're asked to put something in standard form, you don't want your coefficient of x to be a negative and you don't want your coefficient of x to be a fraction, so that leading term there. So let's go ahead and take this equation and start making it look like this equation where x and y are on one side and the constant, the number without a variable, is on the other. So if we want x on and y on one side, let's go ahead and add 3x to both sides. So that's going to give us 3x plus 7y minus 14 equals nine. And then lastly here, we wanna move our constant over, so we'll add 14 to both sides, and that's gonna leave us with three x plus seven y equals 23. And there we have it. So we wrote the equation of the line through this point, three comma two, with the slope negative three seven, we used the point slope form, went through, cleared our fraction, and once we cleared the fraction, we were able to distribute our slope through the set of parentheses, 
And once we did that, we are able then to take this equation one of two ways, either y equals mx plus b, or we can take it to the standard form way, which is the way that we ended up taking it. And, uh, and we arrived at our answer, 3x plus 7y equals 23. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at question number eight.